From the perspective of the predator, uh, we're trying to really investigate uh, a very, what seems to be a very simple question on the surface, but until recently has been pretty tough to answer. And that question is, on average, how many fawns does a wolf kill during the summer? On average, how many fawns does a bear or a coyote or a bobcat kill during the summer? The way we do that is we capture these predators and we fit them with GPS collars. And these GPS collars are designed so that they collect locations very frequently, every 15 minutes. And the collars are also set up so that we can download those data remotely. So we can get up in an airplane, we can fly over an area that has a collared wolf or a collared bear, and we can send that collar a signal and it transmits the data to us in the plane. We bring that back to the office, we look at those data, and what we're looking for are clusters of locations, places where this animal spent a considerable amount of time. Now that, that location might represent a bedding site, uh, a resting site, a den site, but it also might represent a kill site because obviously they're going to spend quite a bit of time consuming a kill. And so we then go in and search these clusters to determine whether or not it's a kill. And in that way, we can estimate the rate at which these different species kill fawns during the summertime.